Take a look at these images. I was able to create all these images from just a single reference image. And as you can see, all the images feature the same face but in different poses and angles. This is by far the best character consistency I've seen from any AI image generator. And in today's video, I'll show you how you can also create consistent characters like this. So, Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The tool we will use today is called Flux Pulid. With this tool, you can take a single image to maintain character consistency. You don't need to train any LoRa's or do anything complicated. Just upload an image of someone's face and it will generate new images while keeping the same face. You can change the clothes, background or even the lighting, but the face will stay the same. So I'll be using Flux Pulid on Replicate. To use it, you'll need a GitHub account. Just go to github.com and sign up if you don't have an account. Once you've signed up, visit replicate.com and click on sign in. As soon as you click sign in, you'll be able to log in with your GitHub account. Now click on the link in the description, which will take you directly to Flux Pulid. I need to mention that this is a paid service if you're using it on Replicate. You can see the cost estimate right here. It's very cheap, around 1.5 rupees per generation. If you want to use it for free, you can try it on Hugging Face. The link is also in the description, but you'll have a limitation. You can only generate a few images. However, you can still test it for free. Watch this tutorial and whatever settings I use on Replicate, you can apply the same on Hugging Face. But for now, this tutorial will continue using Replicate. Now, if you want the best results using this tool, I would recommend using AI-generated images rather than real images of some celebrities. For Pulid, it uses only one image for reference, so it's not doing a 100% exact transfer of the reference image. If you use a real image of a celebrity, you will get good results, but you will notice some subtle differences and minor changes between the two images because we are so used to seeing the real face of that celebrity. But if you use an AI-generated custom image, then we don't need to compare it to anyone else because it's not real. As you can see here, I have used an AI-generated image. And since the reference image is custom generated, even if it alters the face a little bit, the final output will still look good. People won't be able to notice any difference because they are not used to seeing that face every day. One thing you can do is use famous paintings and let Pulid turn them into real life images. This is exactly how I created this realistic version of the Mona Lisa. You can see how well Pulid has interpreted the main image. It even copied the original hairstyle, which is pretty neat. It looks absolutely stunning. Now, since we haven't seen Mona Lisa in real life, any subtle changes made by the AI won't matter. Much. I tried it with another famous painting and the result is amazing. Then I also tried it with Albert Einstein and as you can see, all the results look phenomenal. Now, since we have seen Albert Einstein in real life, we can spot some minor changes in the images, but overall it looks great. I also tried it with Thomas Edison wearing a t-shirt that says Tesla is the best. And as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. You can notice that Pulid also has the ability to create proper text, which I will show you how to generate. All right, now let's head over to Pulid and generate some images. Once you are in, you will see an interface like this. First, you need to click on this icon and upload the reference image here. Then this is the prompt section where you need to write your prompt. After generating a few images, I have found that if you give it a good descriptive prompt, it performs better. So I am going to give it this prompt. As you can see in the prompt, I have described all the features I need in the output, like her age, eye color, hairstyle, clothes type, etc. Now in the settings, you don't need to change anything. Just come to this start step section and turn it to zero. This will basically prevent the AI from making drastic changes to the original face. Next, here you can select how many images to generate at once. I'll keep it at the default setting. And in this section, you can give it some negative prompts if you want. I'll just keep it in the default setting and click on run and it will start executing the process. And this is the output. You can see that the images look outstanding. It has followed my prompt very nicely. Like I mentioned earlier, we haven't seen Mona Lisa in real life. So even if there are minor differences in this image, it doesn't matter. This to me still looks like the Mona Lisa, a realistic modern version. Now let's try one more. And this time I will be using this image of Thomas Edison. Let me show you how to generate exact text without any weird errors. So in the prompt section, I will write an old man wearing a t-shirt that says Tesla is the best. Now make sure you put the text that you want inside the quotations. Now click on run and this is the output. Just look at the result. It is absolutely mind-blowing. And you can see that it has generated the text perfectly without any errors. Wow, this is really awesome. Let's try one more. This time, I will use this image of Deepika and give it a simple prompt, then click on Run. As you can see, the output looks really awesome. Now, as mentioned earlier, you will be able to spot the differences because this is a face that is very popular and we see it very often. Now, if you want to turn this image into an animation style, just write animation style in the prompt, then click on Run. And as you can see, it has turned the images into animation style 
images. Now these are some of the images I have generated. I am very happy with the kind of output this tool can create. The prompt adherence is also great in this tool. Keep in mind, you might not get the desired result that you are looking for on the first try. So keep adjusting the settings and generating until you get the result that you want. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more helpful videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep grinding.